is a brand new lawn on the block that has an intriguing history. It originates in the highlands of Kenya and Ethiopia and it's been a brilliant broadacre grass in Australia for over a century. It's hard wearing, frost resistant and used for sports ovals and pasture. There you go, Matson. Well, years of patient scientific selection have led to the development of this particular lawn. Now, it's called Village Green, and it's a compact, domesticated form. I reckon it's the coming thing in lawns, particularly for home gardens. And the reason? It's just so family friendly. I mean, look at this lot. Today, turf has grown in huge farms like this, under licence across the country. And it's important that when you're buying a lawn for a lifetime, that you get a certificate of authenticity because you don't want a dodgy imitation. You can trace many of the characteristics of Village Green back to this, the deep growing root system. It's very efficient at drawing nutrient as well as moisture from the soil. And once established, it means that this grass is drought tolerant, whether the drought lasts for a week or a whole season. And have a look at these, white underground rhizomes. Now they're a food and moisture storing organ. And the benefit of having those is that you need less fertiliser and it will recover brilliantly from extreme wear. The sort of thing brought on by kids and pets and footy and even cricket. Being male sterile, you won't ever see those white stringy flowers that are loaded up with all the pollen which, by the way, can cause allergic reactions like hay fever. Now, being sterile also means that the plant sets no seed, and those seedlings can be very invasive. The highland heritage allows this grass to continue to grow through winter, when other summer-dominant buffaloes and cooches slow to a stop. The result? Good colour, wear recovery and weed suppression in the cooler seasons. Now, if you live in the tropics, unfortunately, the news is not good because Village Green won't perform. However, if you live from South Queensland all the way around the bottom of the country to Carnarvon in the west, this is a winner.